and welcome back to another session of character modeling it's been a little while uh, i am s'more um aka steve moore and today we're going to be making a leather boot leveraging marvelous designer and finishing it in zbrush for this tutorial you'll first need to make a former for your boot now a former is the basic shape of the foot and historically Shoemakers would make wooden formers and mold material over the former to create the shoe. We're basically going to do the same thing and we'll cheat a little to save time. So in your favorite 3D modeling package, take the model which you want to make boots for and sculpt the basic shape of the shoe using the foot as reference. For a boot, we'll also need to include the shaft basically the ankle and lower leg area. Now, once you're happy with the form, bring it into Marvelous Designer as your avatar. Use the basic circumference measuring tool to measure the ankle and upper shin. We then use the Create Rectangle tool to make a piece of material that is approximately the right height and width um, from the ankle to the upper shin. Now we're going to use the change length tool to fix the length and width of our material so it matches our measurements. I turned on the arrangement points for the avatar which were a little bit off because the boot isn't a complete match for a human form but it did help a little bit to get the material to wrap around the shin. Use the segment sewing tool to stitch the vertical edges of the material. I manually adjusted the position of the material and after that it did sim nicely over the boot form. After choosing a leather material for the fabric and reducing the particle distance for better resolution, I added another strip of fabric to the bottom, you know, matching the width of the ankle. Um, this is going to create a smooth transition into the shoe area, and I'll, I'll call this the ankle strip. Add a little taper so it's wider at the base to allow the ankle strip to fit over the shoe. At this point, I merged the pieces of material so there would be no seam line. To do this, you move the pieces close together in the 2D pattern window, select the edges you want to merge, right-click and choose Merge. Run the sim, adjust the material, and tweak it until you're happy with the results. The material should bunch up a little around the ankle, which is exactly what you want for leather boots. Okay, so now it's time to export to ZBrush. We're going to go to File, Export, OBJ, and we're going to choose Single Object, Weld, and Thin. Click OK. All right, in ZBrush, use Subtool Master to append your scene with the new boot shaft. Prep the mesh from ZBrush for modeling using the edge loop tools, subdividing, and then finally use Dynamis to turn the shaft into a solid mass. I'll leave a link in the description below to a video that goes over these steps in more detail. I did scale my shaft piece down a little bit to fit the boot form. And now comes the real trick. We're going to use Z project to project the folds of the shaft onto our boot form. Add a layer to the boot form. This will be for the projection. Mask the areas of the boot that you want to preserve with a little overlap of the shaft piece top and bottom and blur the mask so there is a smooth transition. Now under the subtool menu use project all to project the folds onto the boot form. Finally, tweak the layer opacity to tune the intensity of the folds. I turn the folds off to set a morph target and use that to clean up the transition from the area with folds to the rest of the boot. That's my trick for making leather boots. I have used the same approach to make more realistic and detailed boots for work. The basic approach was the same. 
So I hope you got something out of this little video, you know, and please leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to throw something out there. I will try to answer them and I do read all comments. And as always, please like and subscribe. Happy modeling.